Hello everyone and welcome to the another video of web development. So this is the third part of multiple page website development and uh, previously we did create this home page and then we created a website preloader that looks like this. So this was the preloader we created. Now today's topic is going to be code reuse. So what is a code reuse? So let's get started with this video so going to the coding now here we have created this home page and if we see we do have a navigation menu in this menu we have other pages linked up with it one is the about us page another one is services page so it says not found because we haven't created the pages yet so let's go ahead and create the pages so first of all, we'll create the about page. We'll save it by the name about.php. The next page is services. We'll create another one by the name services.php. We'll create the third one that is portfolio. And we'll give it a name portfolio.php. And the last one is contact page and contact page would be contact.php now since we have already linked up the okay we have already pro uh, you know provided the links on this href tag so if we click on about see we have got the about us page we have got the services page and we have got the portfolio page and again we have got the contact page so now let's go ahead and create uh, and design this about us page so what we want is first of all this html start tag like i mean the beginning of the html till body and the footer part that we need so this is the footer so uh, these are few elements that we need in every each and every page of the website right so first of all the preloader let's say we created the preloader preloader along with the navigation menu we need all of this so we'll paste it here now if we go to the about page see we have got the footer we have got the navigation bar but it is but it is not visible properly because we have not created the body yet so we we just have the navigation bar and the footer so uh, let's create a section with 100 percent of device width so that so i'm not going to design the entire page i'm just going to give you a simple example so let's say after nav let's say we take up a section and we'll give it a class name mean edge if you guys remember we created this mean edge class and we gave it a height of 100 vh if you remember this in the style.css so if we okay if we uh, put this mean edge class name on the section this entire section is going to take the 100 percent of height so if we refresh the page we have got this footer we have got this navigation bar and just to understand it in a better way we will just put a content inside this section so let's say we put a h1 tag and let's say about us so this is the about us page we want to put it at the center for that we'll use display flex justify content center align items center now we have got this and let's make it a little bit bigger class let's say display one it looks good now make it bold all right and here we go so we have got this about us page and likewise 
we will create the services page as well so again we will use all of these codes so guys um the thing is that look i mean we are using these codes i mean the common codes again and again because these codes i mean these elements are used in each and every page right if you have ever you know uh, if you have ever seen a website the navigation bar and the footer and you know the html starting text like i mean the because we would have to link all of these files on each and every pages right because uh, so that we can you know style each and every pages individually so we cannot keep on writing this course again and again or copying and pasting this course again and again on each and every page instead what we will do is we will we will use a concept of code reuse and we will use php for that for example let me show you how we can achieve this thing first of all let's create one more directory inside our website directory so let's say we create this directory by the name assets inside the assets we'll create a new file let's say i call it look we have different okay what we can do is okay um instead of functions let's make it html html head dot php and we will create one more file by the name footer sorry it's footer dot php and let's say we have one more file by the name navbar dot php and we'll create one more file by the name let's say preloader dot php so that's what we need now from the index page or the home page we will cut the entire code starting from doc type html till the starting of the body tag we will cut this thing from here and we will paste it in the html head and second thing we will do is the preloader we will cut the entire preloader from here and we will paste it in the preloader.php page we'll save it and the third thing is navigation bar the navigation menu we will cut it from here and we will paste it in the navbar.php file and the fourth thing we require is the footer and footer starting from this till the end of the html tag we will cut it from here and we will paste it in the footer.php page now we have got four files inside the assets directory one is html head navbar.php preloader.php and footer.php now we will call these files on each and every page of the website so that we won't have to write the entire codes or copy or paste the entire codes again and again we will just put a single line we will just write a single line to call these pages and we will use php for that and if you remember i have already mentioned in my previous videos that php codes are start are started with a php tag and php tag is written like this php and we close php tags with this and in between this we will write require underscore once and the very first thing we require is so let's go to the home page so if you see all right just a moment so if you see we do not have the style sheet here we do not have the javascript and that is why we can see the plain text in our website content so what now we will call all of the pages one by one so first of all we need the html head tag because inside this we have the starting of the html body so we will put the path name here assets slash html head dot php and if you see we got this 
now we do not have the javascript so that is why few things are not getting loaded now to get the javascript we will call the footer and footer should be at the bottom of the page as you all know php will write require once we'll call the footer putting the path footer dot php now we want the navigation bar so before the navigation bar just after after the body we had the preloader so just up after the beginning of the body tag we will call the preloader so we'll write require once put the path name assets preloader dot php and after the preloader we had the navigation menu so we will call the navigation menu assets navbar dot php now if we refresh the website so this is what we get now so we have got the got all the elements here on the home page now we won't have to write or copy and paste these codes in the in each and every page of our website so instead we can simply call these pages on every page uh, i mean we, we can call us we can simply call these codes uh, on every page of the website so if we design we have got the about so in about we have already you know written this thing so let's not so look it makes it very simple so let's remove so from the navigation we paste it here and we'll paste the footer also we'll paste the footer now so look this is our about.php page so this is the about us now we will create the services page what we will do is go to the services we will start calling the pages require once assets html head.php we will copy the entire code paste it here we will call the uh, after the html head we had the preloader.php and after that we had the navigation bar so navbar.php and at the very end we had the footer so footer.php so refresh the page we have got it now we will put a section just like the about us class equal to section or we can simply just copy and paste it from here so we've got the services now services or you can say our services copy the entire codes go to portfolio our portfolio our portfolio and then go to the contact page so contact us page now if we refresh the page so see we have got our services we have got portfolio we have got the contact us page so this is how we use the codes we reuse the codes on each and every pages of the website without writing the entire codes or without writing writing the whole lot of codes you know so that's what the code reuse means and uh, i think uh, that would be all for today so this is a small topic and i think you have got the code reuse okay let me just show you one more thing uh, let me just show you through php functions so here if you can see you have created four different files right and you have called all the files here now there is another way we can do this because the thing is there are people let's suppose uh you know people can go to the inspect element and they can see the you know directory of your website and they can see what all kind what all files you have been using here so people can also go to 
individual files like this assets for example html head dot php so see if they view the page source they can see the codes so what we want is we do not want our users to navigate to this page so what we will do is um so as of now guys i think uh, you know uh, that would be um that would be that that should be an another topic so when we will be working on you know databases and all then i will show you how to do that and uh, we will be using php for that we will we will uh, you know detect the page name and we will put a condition that if the page name is this and then uh, you know you user should be navigated back to the previous page automatically so that's what we will be doing and uh, as of now in this particular video i wanted to i wanted you uh, wanted you guys to know about the code reuse and how to you know do it and that's what we have got here so i hope you guys will be practicing this and uh, if you have any doubts uh, you can ask me in the comments i will get back to you with the solution and uh, we'll see you in the next video take care bye bye and uh, please like and subscribe the video thank you